So Johnny Evans and Papa CC are at the forefront of most mainstream media coverage at the moment for the Spitgate, as it has been called. Newcastle versus Manchester United, a game uh, pretty tight between both teams, but it was plagued by just disgusting actions from either side. It was just, uh, depending what way you look at it, Johnny Evans just came out and said that he didn't mean to spit at Cissé. Cissé's reaction was really clear and disgusting, spitting on Johnny Evans' neck, pulling him closer to himself so that he could do that. Uh, I understand in the heat of the game some things happen, but in the United Kingdom I must reiterate that spitting on someone is the most disrespectful thing you can do. Uh, some people compare it uh, to having your leg bro uh, broken is much worse. I just think uh, this is an action that is, uh, you're, you're meaning it to disrespect your opponent, you're meaning it to, to look down on them. Uh, it's just to pose a reaction because it's, it's the worst thing I think you can do in football uh, in this day and age. And uh, many people in England and the UK will agree with me. I've spoke to some people in the United States who disagree. I don't think they understand it as much growing up in the, in the culture of football being life and death. It's just something that needs to be stamped out of the game. And it's something that I think if it happens that both Johnny Evans and Papa Cissé have to be suspended for six games in order to stamp it out of the game, I will completely agree with that. It's just something that needs to be removed. However, I read an article from Paul Scholes, teammate of Johnny Evans. He may be a little bit biased there. He stated that in Johnny Evans' case, he, he may actually have a point that he did not mean to spit on Papa Cissé, he was just spitting at the ground and Cissé was coming up and it landed on him and Cissé took it the wrong way and then reacted. And uh, Either way, there's, there's, there's points to be made on both sides. I, I think Johnny Evans has a little bit more of a case than, than Papa Cissé, who it's clear that he spat on him. Uh, I just, I'll reiterate, I think if both players have to be suspended for this matter to be, to be put up in headlights and to be proclaimed as the worst thing to do in, in, uh, in football, then I would absolutely agree with that because it will help remove it it will help send a message to young kids aspiring to be these footballers that this is completely unacceptable. I've played here in the United States and I have been spat on uh, in this culture and it's disgusting. It's, it's awful. It should not be allowed in the game. It should be uh, suspended straight away and it should be removed and, and highlighted as the worst instance. So we don't know exactly what it, the both players have a, an option to appeal uh, this charge by the FA. Um, it's it's going to develop probably into a big massive scandal that both players, uh, Cissé has come out and apologised, Johnny Evans still stands by his, his statement that he did not mean it, um, but if it happens, both players be suspended, so be it. We want to know what you guys think, should both be suspended, was one uh, more disgraced than the other, uh, did, was the reaction justified, which I don't, obviously I don't agree with. Uh, leave your comments in the section below, be sure to subscribe to TYT Sports and let me know what you guys think, continue the conversation on Twitter, at Francis underscore Maxwell and at TYT Sports.